I just hope these Team 10 lookalikes don't make any videos about us when they leave. <laughs> hey, I was a Team 10 lookalike. Jake Paul's a... Jake Paul opens up about his relationship and breakup with Erica Castell in a new video you have to see. Plus, KSI weighs in on his brother and his best friend fighting each other. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, and the YouTube diss tracks are back, and so am I. Quadeca released his diss going after KSI, but people are currently obsessing over Randolph's diss aimed at Deji. To sum it up, Randolph made a joke about Deji's YouTube channel. Deji referenced Randolph's wife in a response video because that always goes well. Then Randolph was all like, I'm gonna bury you with these bars, blah, 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 blah. blah. The reason this piqued my interest is because Randolph spills some tea about KSI's brother in the diss track, Man Child, claiming Deji was high before the LA press conference. Deji later confirmed he was in his reaction video. Funny enough, KSI also did a reaction video and reveals Randolph is mostly telling the truth in the song. However, KSI claims there is one comment that's not entirely true, and it's about Deji only only getting 20% of the revenue from their boxing match. It wasn't 20%, it was 25. <laughs> oh, nah, this is, nah, this is bad. It wasn't 50% out of 100% that I would get from the boxing fight. And I was like, no, if you win, I'll give you 40%. And if you lose, you'll get 25%. So I tried to give him, give him an incentive to win because at this time he wasn't training as hard as he could have. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, we all saw the fight. He lost. <laughs> so he got 25%. Simple as that. More FYI on KSI. He started following Jake Paul's ex, Erica Castell, on Instagram. I don't really have anything witty to say about that. Just stating the facts, y'all. However, Jake does have some things to say about Erica in his new series, Jake Paul Uncut. At the start, Jake makes sure to explain the point of the series and reveals nothing is going to be fake. It's a behind the scenes of his everyday life. Sound familiar? Whatever. I did it first. He also reveals Shane's series inspired him to do this, and he's not aiming to expose or create drama. In the series, Jake reveals he's been fighting with Erica for a while and keeps describing their relationship as toxic. Although he used the word several times, he makes it clear in the video it wasn't always that way and a lot of good came from them dating. Jake also reveals he wasn't too crazy about how his relationship with Erica was portrayed in Shane's series. And like she did help me out so much, but Shane made it just seem like she was like the only thing good in my life that I had. Which like I don't think was fair of him to do that. For the past like month or so, Eric and I's relationship has been like super rocky. Like I said, it turned into this like downward spiral where we were just like super, super toxic for each other. And we like know everything about each other and like we know how to hurt each other. And it's so sad that it got to that point, but it did. We also get a look at Jake's reaction after he and Erica ended things during a shoot for Justin Roberts' YouTube series. Erica's is here? Yeah, bro, I don't know if I can. I, I think like I should just be really nice. Because I just love her and like I don't want to deal yeah. with shit. Yeah, you should definitely be really nice. And the issue is that you don't know, you don't know 100% in your head yet what, which way, what, like, where you're leaning to. I feel like we have to, bro. We shouldn't film it. My heart instantly shattered. Like, I. Like, it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. In the series, we start to learn more about Jake's business and the stress it's putting on him. There's also a poignant moment where Jake's cameraman, Ari, talks about the star being villainized, even though his content is actually helping people. More specifically, a little girl who was diagnosed with cancer claims Jake's videos kept her strong and saved her life. Overall, I honestly think the series is going to become something big. It's basically a vlog, but more emotional. Also, shout out to Simon Mini Minter for following our videos and watching them and commenting on them because he's cool as hell. But all right, guys, let us know what you think about Jake's new series in the comments below. Hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news and make sure to follow me at Ali Stagnito on social media. Bye, guys.